town in Florida decided to honor their graduates by taking graduation online, making it virtual like so many people are doing these days. But just moments before the graduation, a hacker made things a little tricky. Celebrating graduates of FGCU's past looks much different than the present. I was videotaping and we're watching it. <laughs> Samantha Thompson. FGC's virtual commencement was hacked. The university hired the company StageClip to create the ceremony website. When the pandemic hit, it became imperative for us to try to figure out what we could do to still honor the class of 2020. 980 graduates of nearly 2,000 participated by uploading a photo or a video. The hacker targeted the vendor's server, distorting the graduate list and slowing down the site. Sageclip is now in the process of rebuilding it. We're heartbroken it happened. We, we really wish it wouldn't have, and I think the only thing we can say is that we're sorry. Before relaunching the commencement link, FGCU is dedicating certain staff to verify each graduate's information. On top of that, graduates will be given a chance to go over their slide, too. Just because they didn't have a graduation or because things got messed up at the graduation doesn't take away from all their hard work, doesn't take away um, from their degree. 2020 graduates have persevered through a hurricane during the start of school, now ending it through a pandemic. Resilient is a word Robbie Coltoon uses for her class. There's great things coming, and we're all going in it, going through this together, so I just think that if we all just stick together and we stay positive, that it's going to come out even better after this. And they do plan to do an in-person graduation for those graduates eventually when Things are a little calmer and safer, but yeah, that is not what a lot of graduates were picturing um, when they said virtual graduation. Right. From hurricane to pandemic to hacker, that's the last thing they needed. Okay, Riley mentioned that.